I believe I have to go here to see the slides. Uh, I work for Mozilla. I'm a web developer there. And uh, I also created JS Fiddle. Probably you know about it. The first question is how many uh, web developers are here? Do you do, do code or? Yeah, I hope it will be also interesting for non-developers. Um, so Firefox OS is, uh, is the answer for by Mozilla for like lockdown um, operating systems like iOS and Android. And the goal was to create a system which will not need any SDK to be, uh, to, to be able to create uh, apps for it. So everyone who is, uh, who is uh, writing HTML is able to, to write an app. And about the uh, availability, this year we will we'll release Firefox OS in 10 countries. So you can buy uh, Firefox OS at the moment uh, in Poland for about 400 zloty without any contract, without any ability. So it is a little more than $100, but it is still close to it. As you can see, like uh, this is this is the internet connectivity of the world, and there are black holes inside, and that those people will not probably use uh, like internet connections which are uh, like on cable. They will they will all use mobile, and it is happening now. And the goal is to release the uh, the Firefox OS devices in in the emerging countries where where people don't still use feature phones and they will like to use smartphones and because the the, the cheap android are uh, really bad because they use like old versions of it uh, we decided that it will be good to have a, uh, to have a device which is fast enough and and pretty cheap and firefox os has a, has a nice implemented a new feature which i don't think any uh, any other uh, operating system has it is uh, it is in app search so uh, instead of you looking for an app to to access the content you may look for the content and find an app it is working in the way that uh, i will show it on the uh, simulator it is running so i will have to do this where are your simulator Okay. So this is one of the ways to, to access the Firefox OS device. It is the simulator. It is the plugin for uh, for the Firefox, and you can access uh, the web here. And it, I can write a, I don't know like a band which I like, which is Deserter, and it is a oh it is a localized search so it is searching in in the place where we are so it is finding like on it page it on it actually doesn't really uh, work well but uh, you can find it on the I don't know Wikipedia PL and you've got the deserter band here you can this these apps are not installed they are they are used on the web and if you really want them to be installed if you like the I don't know SoundCloud an example you just press and hold and you can install this application to your to your home screen. This is like very very usable uh, feature, and probably other other operating systems will copy this. I don't know how it is here. Uh -huh. So you can you can search on the apps you are, you you don't have installed. Yeah, but yeah, but the, the sure. Do you have to have these apps installed or not? They are installed when you buy your iPhone, right? Yeah, but it, ah, okay, so okay, so there are the built-in apps. Yes. This this search is working with the apps you don't have installed, so it is searching the web for the app which do which it can provide this content. Yeah. So how this uh, system is structured? It is like a little bit more like uh, technical. So uh, the, it is built in, in three layers. The first layer is the, the same as with, uh, with Android. It's actually taken from Android. It is the gong. 
it is uh, it is Linux kernel, and all of the devices, all of the uh, the layer uh, of the drivers to the to the to the device. Then we've got Gecko, which is the same as in Firefox. It is the system to render the the graphics, and Gaia, which is the user interface. Everything is written in HTML5, so every single icon, every single action which is done in Firefox OS is JavaScript, is HTML. So we can go now to uh, actual web app development. Every uh, every app in Firefox OS starts with the manifest. So you can you can take any uh, website, add a manifest, show it the manifest to the to the Firefox OS device, and it will become an app. Just straight on. You just provide the name of the application. You can provide uh, a little bit more information than it is displayed here, but this is the minimal. Uh, minimal manifest which will work. You provide icons, description, and, uh, and all of the stuff you, you really want to have it. You can also create here uh, an information about additional APIs which will it will use. So you can extend the permissions. You can this this is uh, necessary if you want to put an application on the marketplace. All of the web API APIs, which uh, which are available for Firefox OS, are described on the on the wiki. Maybe I will just open it. And uh, the progress of the of the APIs, the availability on which device, and uh, oh, it takes a lot of time. I don't know if I've got if I still got the connection, but okay, never mind. So it, it is also color coded uh, how it is available. So it, you've got availability here, and uh, this means this is the desktop, this is the Android version, and this is the boot to Gecko, so uh, Firefox OS. Uh, the information on the left hand, on the left hand side, you've got the documentation to the API, and uh, like description, but uh, this is pretty important stuff is the uh, bug, bugs and security. Uh, all of this information tell, tells you if there's any problem with the API at the moment, if, if you, can, you can just work with it and, uh, and, and provide a valuable, uh, valuable content. It's a pretty shame that the page doesn't work. Uh, one of the APIs is an example the ambient light, and it is as simple as this. You can, you can use it on the website and it will work. And it will it will take the uh, take the Mac ambient light device, and it will work on the website. It doesn't have to be an API. It doesn't have to be an app. Um, so you just you just call the uh, you just add the listener to the dev device light, and in the callback you've got ambient value, and you just use it, and you can do whatever you want with it. For an example, you may change the uh, color of the background of the page, or if you've got like a Kindle application, you can change the colors. You can switch to dark background and white text if the, the light actually is, if, if it will be better in the dark. Mm. Uh, there are free app access levels. So not all APIs are available to websites. And this is, uh, from the top, is the, is the lower uh, accessibility, lower privileges. So hosted is like uh, an app which you can create from the website, and you don't have to upload it to the marketplace. It will work as an app, but it is untrusted. And then you've got privileged. It is the applications which are packed, sent to the marketplace, signed, and downloaded from the marketplace. Certified are only available to the OS. So if you, I don't know, if you've got a company and you want to provide some additional features for your employees, like I don't know, like uh, cr like some readers or credit card reader, something which doesn't exist on the marketplace yet, and even if it would exist, it would need the certified privileges. You can you can modify the Firefox OS and provide your employees a Firefox OS with uh, updated features. One of the way to access the APIs is uh, web activities. Uh, web activities is like a tool which allows you to ask the system to provide some content, an example, an image or a music file, and the con and the, and this will be 
will be returned as in inside of Colbert. Like uh, so, there are, there are a few web activities. There's the, the most important one, in my opinion, it is the pick because it is it is allowing you to get the images or files or it or anything. Like uh, to send a number to the phone, you just create uh, and most activity you create a dial. Uh, you use a dial name for it, and and the uh, system will ask the system will provide you with a list of uh, applications which do allow to to call other people in example skype or dial application or whatever you need or your application if you register yourself to the to the dial uh, most activity and after the user will hang up the phone your application will go out uh, another web activity is a, is a pick so we've got name pick. You specify the type of the of the content you want to get, and uh, and Firefox OS will provide you with the list of the applications which can provide you the images. An example. So you've got wallpaper, gallery, camera. You don't have to work and uh, and create a part of the application which will which will uh, handle the camera or something like this. You'll just you just ask for the most activity, and uh, and then. In the callback, you just you just handle it. You you receive it as a blob, and uh, and this actually is a, is a working uh, uh, application of it. So, assuming that uh, that body is uh, was 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 taken before from the DOM, is a variable representing the body. This will uh, display the image on the screen. So this is ju just about that. The Firefox OS simulator, I, I've, uh, you, you have, so I was, I was showing it before, uh, but it has a little bit more uh, functionality. You can, you can use all of the tools uh, in Firefox OS with the, uh, with the simulator. So you can connect to the application. Let's run an application. No. It's kitchen sink, and we can connect to it. I will need to resize a little. Sorry. Actually, it would be better to run something else like this. Right. Uh, this is a kitchen sink, uh, an application which I was uh, working on like a month ago, and I still have to do some stuff with it. And uh, it is, uh, it has a list of APIs, and it is testing them and displaying the result. If there is an error, it will display an error, like in file handle API, an example. Uh, this is uh, an application, and you can you can profile it, an example. So if you if you think your application is running slow, you can just Start a profile, open few windows, you know, geolocation. You can run it, show the uh, how how it is working, and then switch off the profiler. And it is showing you the how much time it ev every function take took, and uh, you can see this this here is the uh, is the time it was waited for the. Uh, for the model window to be pressed to alert. So all of this is working the same as in as in uh, as in website. Uh, unfortunately, this actually inspector isn't working be because this is like a nightly version and something got broken. I think I will not show you one thing because the internet is broken here. I'll just check. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah. So this is the dashboard of the uh, of the simulator. Uh, it allows you. So it lists all of the uh, apps which you've got on the simulator. You can refresh them, connect to them. You can remove them from the uh, from the simulator. Uh, it it helps with the with the development a lot. There's another feature of it. Uh, using simula using simulated dashboard is the easiest way to 
push the application to the to the phone. You don't need to install it with ADB or something like that. It does it for you. So, like in example, I'll go back to the simulator. So I've got the Firefox OS phone connected to it, to the computer, and I can, I can simply like push the kitchen sink application, and then I I, I just need to confirm the button that that there is a incoming request. Come on, and the application the kitchen sink has been installed. So it's fairly easy to 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 install the, your application which you are developing on the device or on the simulator. Um, in the future, there will be it is it is in development. So if you've got the newest uh, uh, Firefox OS 1.2 and the newest uh, Firefox uh, desktop, which is 26 at the moment, I believe. Uh, you will be able to use App Manager. It has it, it takes the functionality of uh, of simulated dashboard, but it will allow to a, a, a lot more stuff. So it looks better, and uh, also it will allow you to uh, to debug the phone, not only the uh, the simulator, but you will also be run be able to run debugger on the phone, or uh, or any other like uh, development functionality. Um, when you've got the phone, you you need to you need to switch on the remote debugging, and then you will be able to access it. It is similar as uh, as with Android, and it is actually using Android tools, uh, Android SDK to access it. Uh, unfortunately, at the moment, uh, as I said, the only the only way to to get the information from the phone is console log. And uh, to display it, you just you just logging the phone and you just grabbing the JS, so so you will not have a lot of spam from uh, from the Firefox OS itself. This is the the way I I do debug software, like in old times when you had only console log. Um, we are uh, trying to make so so lower the the learning curve for all of the developers. And one of the the thing is the project I'm working on is the uh, in implementing Cordova into Firefox OS. So you will be able to just publish to Firefox OS from Cordova. But what may be more also is in interesting is that you may, you will be able to publish from Firefox OS app to Cordova. So we will, we will provide uh, a tool which will kind of translate your Firefox OS application into Cordova one. And we will try if this is working because this is something which is also uh, will come in the future. Is this the drag and drop uh, application developer development tool? We'll see if it will work, but I believe not. No, so I'll not show you this, but uh, it has a pretty interesting feature. So. Uh, you may add you may add a, uh, a ticker, which is like a, a thing which uh, like metronome, and uh, your as the the actions are color coded. So, in example, if you've got this uh, uh, this fireworks, do fire on an action, then you define that it is firing on like green action, let's say, and metronome is creating the green tick, green tick. So, on every tick on the metronome, the fireworks will fire, and it, it is like a very simple way, and I think even kids will be able to provide to to to, to create applications. Another thing, and again, no website. <laughs> Another thing is Brick. This is uh, uh, this is this grew out from from Xtax. It is a uh, uh, Xtax is a, a web component which do have uh, special features like you may have a calendar you may have like a this is like a flip box so the page can you can in example show i know settings on the other side of the card and it, the the creation of it is as easy as creating a tag which is x flip box and then you may uh, assign an action uh, that the flip, flip box will toggle so it has like extended functionality the this tag and uh, and it is working well. 
not like the internet. <laughs> Another thing, uh, so I've, I've done JS Fiddle and uh, I was thinking if JS Fiddle would be useful for, uh, for app developers. And uh, I've, I've added the web app manifest and FXOS HTML. So if, you, if you've got a fiddle and you want to check how it, is, how it will work as a web app on your phone or on the simulator, you just add slash fxos.html, put it in the, in the browsers, uh, uh, put it in the browser and install it as an app. And it will basically install as an app, as a JS Fiddle app inside the phone and it will only provide the functionality which you have created in the, in the fiddle. So we don't add any code to it or anything like that. It's the pure application as you have written in the JS Fiddle. Another thing is uh, like when you've done the, uh, the application, you want, to, you want to put it to the world and show it to the world. One way to do it is like the hosted app I've, I've told you before. And another is the Mozilla Marketplace. So you can upload uh, a packaged app or you can provide the URL to the, uh, to the manifest and, uh, and the marketplace will show it for, for everyone. The web apps are not only done for the, uh, for the Firefox OS device. Uh, they will work on the desktop, they will work on the tablet and on Android. So uh, you might want them to be able to be downloaded on the, on the desktop or not, but you, you are able to, dis to decide on it. And uh, this, is, this is pretty important because you don't have to add additional code if you want to have a desktop app. You just may create it with the HTML5. Uh, the, the process to submit an app is, uh, is fairly easy. You just uh, have to navigate to the, to the marketplace for developers where you've got the submit an app button. And uh, you provide this hosted URL or the upload a zip. Uh, then Marketplace will validate the, the app if it is possible to, to upload it to the Marketplace, if there will be any trouble, and uh, add the details, and then you're waiting for approval, everything is fine. Uh, except of running it from the Marketplace, you can have a website, and on this website you may provide uh, an application as uh, you don't have to do it like uh, right now on Android when you browse, uh, I don't know, on it or anything else. You just have, do you want to install an app? Do you want to install an app? This is not really what I want, but uh, you may add it to the button and uh, on click it will install an application on your phone. Uh, it will have to be a hosted app because uh, it's not signed by marketplace uh, people. They, they, they didn't approve it but it will work as a hosted app and if it will work well. And one thing which is, which is very important is the in-app payments. They, uh, they are done pretty well in, in Firefox OS. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to, to sign for uh, in marketplace that you really want to have some money from the applications. And uh, in your application, you sign the uh, JSON web token uh, with your application on the server, then you send this token uh, to the navigator most pay function. This is sent to the uh, to the marketplace. The user the user logs in using persona, enters the pin. You get the callback, and with the callback you get if the if the payment was successful or not. And uh, then your server gets also the post request from the marketplace, so you have you haven't been cheated on it and. And then your money is on the in the bank account. That's actually how it is working, and yeah, and this API is pretty good. And yeah, do you have any questions? Unfortunately, it was a little bit short because I couldn't show you the examples or demos. But uh, yeah, that's how it is. Yes. Uh, the question is, if uh, can I show you which uh, which APIs will be available for the hosted app? Unfortunately, I can't show you on the on the website, but on this screenshot here, the, 
Yeah, it is Conferencia 2. Yeah, I was I was checking Conferencia and Conferencia 2. Uh, probably some, something restarted and it is not working, unfortunately. But it, it is visible in here. I don't remember the color coding. But uh, you see here, this is the, the blue one and the green one. And there's also some kind of a purple one. And uh, I believe the green one is for uh, all apps also hosted. The blue one is for uh, certified only. And the purple is for certified and, and privileged. It is, so uh, when you, when you uh, mouse over the B, it will, sh it will tell you to which applications, to which uh, apps it is uh, available. I'll try, maybe I'll try with this internet, but I don't think it will work. Yeah, it is conference, you know. Nah. But the password is all right, isn't it? Yeah, so it doesn't let me in. Looks fine. Okay. So we've got it here. And uh, there's a, so the blue ones are only for certified. The green ones are for uh, all of the apps. And this is like, this is not purple, this is like a dark greenish. Uh, it is for privileged and certified. So on this web on this website you 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 will find everything, and I will just tell you that uh, this presentation is in uh, under this URL. So if you want, you there there is quite a lot of uh, links inside of it. So if you if you want to to get access to them, just write it down or make a photo. But now I, I will ask two questions because I have a microphone here. So first of all, uh, you know, web APIs are, are a dime a dozen. So uh, the stuff that we can do with Firefox OS, how far is that from sort of the others or the bigger family of you know web APIs in terms of what, for example, PhoneGap and the others are doing, and in the bigger picture, what you know, W3C and, and those guys are doing. Uh, there is uh, there's one big difference. It's an example that. Uh, you don't have access at the moment to the camera and uh, microphone, direct access. So you are unable to, uh, to modify the image live, for example, from the camera. Uh, but it is coming, and I think in 1.2, so I think in the early next year, uh, you will be able to do all the WebRTC stuff uh, in Firefox OS. So it is working already in Firefox, the WebRTC, and uh, is, it is coming to Firefox OS as well. Right, but you are keeping close in terms of the APIs themselves. So if there be will be, for example, introduced new stuff in the future that will be compatible, hopefully, with, with other yes, you know, web environments. Sure. So oh. uh, with it, it really depends because uh, uh, it if your application isn't like really uh, doesn't need to have a direct access to camera, there is no difference. It is actually easier. But uh, there are there is a few APIs which are lacking from the iOS and uh, and Android, and it is an example the camera API because it is available only to certified apps at the moment, and that's 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 why it is not working. You had the second question. Yes, the second question is uh, how usable is Firefox OS if you do not have an enabled data plan or it's very limited. So, for example, you said that your search is, you know, going online to provide the search results and such. Mm -hmm. So, what exactly does it mean? For example, if I'm traveling, roaming, I'm in offline mode, or have a uh -huh. prepaid plan, and I don't want it to. So, we do encourage people to use offline modes of the application. So, if you write an application, it will be good. If if it will be, uh, if the app cache is there, if you use local storage, index index DB, all of this stuff is working in uh, in Firefox OS and the applications which. Uh, you know, my, my team, my, my co-workers are working on like uh, like uh, podcast uh, downloader or something like that. They all work offline. 
So it is the same as in other applications if you uh, if you install apps, basically. Okay, but for example, that search. So would that work if I'm in, in offline mode? I don't think so because these applications are not installed on your phone. Okay. Yeah. But so I'm uh, I was a bit surprised when you said that search because that was a feature that was sort of lost to the smartphone world because it was present in you know for example some ancient discontinued Nokia operating systems let's okay. put it this way for a long long while which was well even Symbian has that then okay. of course N9 with the tracker of all uh -huh. the things uh -huh. also had something similar it wasn't searching online but still it was a, a fairly sort yeah. of extensive search, which search content and not applications. I think it's a decent feature, yeah. And you had a question? Uh, is there a way to unlock uh, a device to use uh, APIs that uh, require certification for myself, for development, for, you know, yes. how does it work? You just, uh, you, you just need to compile the Firefox OS. Yeah. That's it's a uh, fairly documented uh, feature, and you just you just uh, go into the website. You can. Uh, I was doing so, like half a year ago. It was pretty hard to put an put an application on your phone, uh, and on one workshop we just we just replaced the contact uh, application with something for music, and you just was were pressing for contact, and it was music application. But you it is it is actually at the moment it is very open. You just add a new application to your Firefox OS, and it is working as a certified app. Uh, do you uh, know anything? How open are the devices available in Poland? Because uh, I can recompile the OS, and 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 okay, but is it possible for me to refresh a device I buy for for hundred bucks? Yeah, I, I I don't I've got no idea, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know. I I've seen the Alcatel first time yesterday. So I haven't been even in the store, but uh, uh, we don't provide the uh, the images for the Alcatel at the website. That's why I'm using the Geek's phone uh, because it is, you know, it, it is as open as it can be. Yeah, but with the Alcatel, I, I've got no idea. I definitely think that uh, that you will be able to compile the Firefox OS, and there will be some drivers uh, which will be open. Because the the only problem with uh, with additional devices is that uh, drivers are closed source, and uh, if they will be open or they will be provided as a binary, it it, it, sh it should work. I can answer that question oh. because I've seen Mer running on the on the Alcatel Touch One Fire, so uh, it is possible to hack the device. Do you have hardware accelerated graphics in yes. Firefox OS? Yes, we do. That's it, it was from the first start uh, that there were uh, demos with this rotating school, which was transparent and stuff. I'm not really into WebGL or something like that, so I, don't, I can't provide you the details, but I've seen the demos and they, they are running pretty fast. And where can we find these demos? Uh, they were on the uh, images in Firefox OS like, you know, uh, pre-development ones. So definitely on the MDN, you will, you will find them. And also one thing, which is, which is also important for developers, if you, if you would like to ask anything uh, about the Firefox OS, go on IRC. Uh, every single developer in, uh, in Mozilla is using IRC, and you just go to, to irc.mozilla.org, I believe, and, and there is everything which uh, everyone who is developing them. So you can which ask channels yourself. should we check out on IRC? Sorry, which channels? Uh, there are apps uh, and B2G. I think that those are the two most important ones. Thank you. You're welcome. Any more questions? So in the meantime, oh I yes, show there's a question. Okay. Uh, you have mentioned about uh, debugging features will be available like uh, on the newest version of Firefox, right? Uh, I mean the debugging on the device. How about the simulator for now? It is done now. You can debug at the moment. Simulator is fine. Uh, how about using some other, let's say, um, debugger, uh, which is not the part of the Firefox, I mean the Firebug? Uh, 
for example? Uh, Firebug wouldn't have an access, I believe. All right, thanks. But the debugger inside the Firefox is predefined. Is, it okay. is there a difference? Uh, I never use it. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. And this thing which I couldn't show you, the, the Fireworks demo, I will just quickly show you. So you've got the uh, Fireworks which are not working now. And you say that they are working on the on the on the broadcast channel, let's say like yellow, and uh, on the other tab, which is like invisible, you can create uh, a metronome, just like this, and it is ticking. So at the moment it is oh it is working fine. It's wi pretty weird. It should actually work on the green channel. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, you've got the metronome, so it is it is causing an action. It is not working mm -hmm. now. And it will work on the blue one, I believe. Yeah, and it is sending a, a um, like uh, action every second. You can change it to like you know to like 0 0.2 seconds, and and the fireworks are working like this. And there's like uh, it is also uh, alpha at the moment, so it is not like ready to go but you can publish your app and it will work so if you want to have a firefox uh, fireworks app just go for it and and you've got it already uh, there's there's like a snapshot you can you can uh, create like images and uh, buttons and stuff so so it might be good for prototyping it might be good for kids to play and uh, it is pretty good the other thing was brick and um, this this uh, flip box in brick is here, and this is the, the code which I will show you. Uh, I, I've had on the slide is actually here, and you can just flip the page like this, and it has a good documentation. Uh, the 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 bricks the the components are added, so you can you can create your own component. It's fairly easy, and uh, I will probably work on the settings component because I always see that every single application has its own settings implementation I just can't stand it and uh, what else there's, there's like calendar is pretty is pretty advanced uh, component so you just create like this code here and this code will create you this calendar which is like giving you is returning the data and and you can extend it and change the visibility so you run this like this, which dates are chosen already, and the, these will be cho like pre-chosen for the for the user. And you can obviously change the skin. Somewhere here is the skin changed. Oh, here, and it looks like this. And uh, uh, the 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 Gaia look is in development. So if you want your application to look uh, uh, like native. Uh, it, it will be provided, so the CSS will be provided, and your application will look like Gaia, like Firefox OS. I think those are all the, and there was also this JS Fiddle thing. So if I go to dashboard, like uh, never mind, anything like acceleration, example, you know, will not work on the. Uh, come on. So you've got some sort of a uh, fiddle, and if you will add fxos.html, it is just uh, you can install it. I can install it on the on the Firefox if you want, because it will work as a desktop as, as uh, app as well, and and it is working like this acceleration. Obviously, it is not working on the uh, desktop, but it could. And. Uh, and if you wish to have it in the in the simulator, you go to simulator. I can add it here. I just I just have to add the manifest dot web app, and it is added somewhere here. And that was it. No, it wasn't. Why not? Unable to read the manifest. Manifest. Oh, HTTP. And this application is is in here. 
and I can I can just run it or push it to the device if 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 you want to have it like that. Oh, it is acceleration, yeah. So it's with JS Fiddle you don't have to like install anything except of the simulator to check how it is working. You don't have to even write code. You can use any fiddle which is already there. And do you know JS Fiddle? How many of you? Are cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So this is it. Uh, any more questions? Yeah. There is another question. Thank you. Uh, I wanted to ask because the Firefox OS is a new system and uh, it went into the production phase. We have a device uh, advertised by T-Mobile. And uh, as you said, it's under heavy development and you're, uh, I don't know, making a lot of new things. Uh, I wanted to ask how are you planning to update the end user devices and will be carrier or vendor dependent like Android and as we know, many of the devices aren't updated. Yes. So in the first cycle of life of this Firefox OS, it would be great if the first devices would get updated also. So how are you, how are you planning to do this? Uh, so the, the solution to, to it is, this is similar to Android. Uh, it is just that it is easier to, to update for, develop for the providers. So uh, the idea behind is I believe there is some time frame uh, all the providers have to provide the update and uh, that's how it is so so obviously if you have bought a device from the shop the provider will provide you provide you the the modified firefox os because they may have some push notifications uh, i believe t-mobile has push notifications for the uh, uh, for like fixes when someone is calling for the feedback and they, they want to be able to run application on your device if they they are allowed to it. So yes, uh, there is potentially an issue, uh, and uh, but it shouldn't happen, as the contract said, I think. Well, what would you say would be the key differences between Firefox OS and WebOS? Like a blast from the past, but still, now they are open too, in theory, and all that. So it's not working. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Like, well no, uh, I, I, I really don't know. I don't know WebOS that much. Uh, I, I know that uh, we started to work on Firefox OS at the time when WebOS was actually going down, and that was one of the reasons, I think. Uh, I remember being like there was some. It wasn't all hands, but there was some. Yeah, it was all hands in San Jose. And uh, when we, when someone came to the stage and said we will do a phone, and someone from the from the venue from the uh, from the audience asked how many people are working on the team, and they answered six. And yeah, we've got the device at the moment. So maybe the number of developers is the difference in WebOS. We don't want to like uh, like too many people working on the same thing and which makes a, a lot of trouble as well. So I don't know. Maybe the, the answer to it is it will run on more devices than WebOS. But we use, uh, we did use uh, WebOS, I think. I, I don't know. I, ha I'm, I am not a team which was doing the Firefox OS. I am I'm doing the applications on it. But <laughs> don't worry. More questions? Okay. okay. I Thank think you it very is much. all. Yeah.